struggle to be the best. The importance of taking risks in life. What motivates each individual person? Why some of these humanitarian interventions succeed and why others don't? The corporate social responsibility. How behind the United States is in globalization. Every different person has something that motivates them. And when you find out exactly what motivates you, you know what you're striving for. Individual make their individual decisions, but how the history just moves from the uh, like feudalism to capitalism to a modern society. It seems like a linear path, but individuals living in society, they don't necessarily possess that mentality, but how everything comes together is very fascinating. There are all these people making these decisions, and none of them are affected by the decisions that they're making. So they kind of just sit back and say, hey, this is what is going to happen. These are the policies to the teachers, to the administrators, to the school districts. But none of them are teachers, none of them are administrators, and none of them are actually in the classroom seeing what's happening to these kids and how so many of them are not going to college and how so many of them are dropping out. And it's just, it's awful. I deal with a lot of images and a lot of statistics about people dead and dying. So it makes me think a lot about what I will do in my life. What if I were to die at this moment and I haven't made a real contribution? So if I were to think about an anecdote, it would be I would forever and always do a job where I can go to bed at night, close my eyes, and feel like if I were to die at that moment, I, I would be happy with it. So having a greater understanding of you know, why evolutionarily we are susceptible to certain things why do infants get jaundice instead of just immediately treating it, you know, things like that. Understanding the reasons behind, you know, what's going on will help us treat it more efficiently. I actually started wearing a hijab about six months back. Um, this was the biggest risk I took. I was a little worried because um, studying in America and the stereotypes associated with uh, hijabis and Muslim women um, that arise, but I felt like it was something that I wanted to do. Um, and nothing was going to stop me. I haven't really faced any sort of discrimination or I don't feel different than I did um, back in the day. So I'm really, really great I took this risk. A lot of women um, that I talk to will say, like, you know, I had intercourse for the first time and I didn't have an orgasm. And a lot of women don't realize that only about 20% of the population, of the female population, is even, like, capable of having one during intercourse. But they finally found a very strong statistical correlation between the distance of the clitoris from the vagina um, and whether women were capable of having orgasms during intercourse or not. The number of labiaplasties, which is um, a plastic surgery that, that reduces the size of your labia, um, have been going up dramatically. It's just completely unnecessary, you know? A lot of women that have completely normal, beautiful vaginas and vulvas um, feel then feel so insecure about them that they feel the need to get plastic surgery. French macarons. They're really difficult and they took me 13 freaking attempts to make them. I would stay up until midnight or one o'clock just to wait for my macarons to come out of the oven. And it's similar to computer science because I've spent hours and hours just trying to code and debug. And when it finally turns out the way I want it, it's just priceless. Some buddy even asked me if I felt like I'm, I will have a hard time proving myself to others as a woman in computer science. And that was like vice president of the company. I told him something like, um, my, um, my standards are much higher than other people can possibly have for me, so all I have to do is really to prove myself to myself. Everything else will come along. Don't give up. Grab every single opportunity that you have in front of you. You never know which one will work out. You just have to take the chances. Work your best. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't, you try. What I tend to not like about most feminist perspectives is that they don't want to deal with men. Men have been traditionally, historically educated by women that have uh, made them internalize that manliness and that patriarchal order. So I think women were as active in the patriarchal patriarchal order as men, and so I think that to get out of it and to really achieve true women empowerment, we have to reintegrate men into this dialogue.